The third cornerstone of thought is that the blood of Jesus paid for everything. Every issue of life was settled at Calvary. If I truly believe that, then I owe him my trust for things I do not understand, for things that do not work the way I think they should. See, if, if he looked ahead, made the ultimate sacrifice to settle every future issue I will face on into eternity, then if I face something that's not working out the way I think it should, I owe him my trust because he has already planned everything works for my good. I am obligated, I am indebted to him to live a life of trust when things don't look good. The Apostle Paul made this great statement, Romans chapter 8, where he said, all things work together for good to those who love God called according to his purposes. All things work together for good. That statement wouldn't be necessary if everything always worked the way you thought it should the first time you prayed. That's, a, that's wasted conversation if everything always worked right. You can imagine the shipwreck he was in that he prayed, oh God, spare us. Dir- you know, direct us safely to some... God always worked it out in the end, but he had to join in the process and he had to learn to trust when things worked well and when things didn't. That's why Paul said in Philippians, says, I, I've learned how to abound and I've learned how to be abased. I've, I've, I've learned in both realms, I need to trust him. So I have developed this lifestyle of trust, trust that when it's going bad, I trust him. But when it's going good, I don't lessen the trust. I still trust him. That's the life of the believer the one who truly lives with the ongoing conviction that every issue is settled, the blood of Jesus dealt with everything. 